Luke Newton, Srivastava, runs TREAD Consulting and is solving the skills gap in nursing, pathology, dental assistance, aged and childcare. I'm Newton Srivastava and I'm the director of TREAD College. Uh, we specialise in healthcare, so it's a healthcare college and we have been uh, operating since 2009 and I have been in the training industry for 18 years now. <laughs> We are based in Macquarie Park in Sydney and Macquarie Park is actually a kind of health precinct because we are very close to Macquarie Hospital and a lot of pharmaceutical companies and pathology companies like Laverty in the area. Um, and we do specialize in healthcare as I mentioned, but it, what, what, what it means is we provide accredited and nationally recognized qualification for students here who want to build a career in healthcare, like pathology collection, dental assisting, aged care, child care, and nursing now. Um, and basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to bridge that skill gap here because there is a massive shortage in healthcare as we know. Uh, so we are trying to bridge that gap and train as many um, students as possible here uh, to be able to build a career in healthcare. Currently, we are uh, training some of the students here in Sydney, um, and they can they contact us directly and, uh, of course, enroll in the course. But we also uh, network and work with uh, a lot of organizations in the healthcare industry, like um, hospitals and nursing agencies and uh, uh, dental uh, surgeries and, me and even medical centers. So they have a lot of staff there that needs training and bridging that skill gap. So they contact us directly, and we are training the students there. So currently, we actually have the capacity of six to seven hundred students here at the Macquarie Park campus um, and this is a fairly new campus we only recently opened uh, a few months ago in fact uh, mid last year so uh, we are still currently expanding here and, um, and and this center was predominantly opened for nursing because we have recently added nursing on a scope and for nursing we need to set up hospital labs and uh, some of the simulation um, you know things and so this this center is perfect for that and um, and and our vision is like not just being in Macquarie Park, we are actually expanding overseas as well. So we are recently opened a campus in uh, Sri Lanka and in India and uh, in Philippines actually. Philippines is just being set up at the moment. So our whole goal, our whole vision is basically we are trying to improve our international engagement and not just train students here in Australia and bridge that skill gap, but also take the Australian standards of training all over the world where it is required. Like for example, in Sri Lanka, I actually recently came back from there and I was engaging with some of the organizations like hospitals and some of the community organizations like Save the Children Foundation and funds. Um, the need for training and the need for skills there is pretty huge because there is no structured training there, especially in countries like Sri Lanka and India. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is take the Australian standards from Australia, take it to the countries where it's needed, and help the students improve it where they are. And in the process, um, there might be some of the students who might want to come to Australia and, um, and, and, and complete their qualification here and do some work placement here in Australia and go back to their country and help improve the standards there. So there is a bigger vision than just training students and issuing them the certificate. Um, so that is just the beginning of what we are trying to do. Um, I'm also looking at um, improving our presence, not only in uh, in Asia, but also in European countries. Like I'm looking at uh, offering our courses in the Eastern part of Europe, especially uh, Czech Republic and Slovakia. And we're in the process of um, achieving that. And, uh, and uh, in the next couple of months, we are also uh, looking at opening a campus in Canada. Um, and uh, basically the whole idea is to take Australian standards all over the wo world where it is required and help them improve the standards there. I've been in training industry for for last 18 years or more, I think it's more than 18 years now. And uh, while I, through the journey, I actually realized that there was a massive need to improve the engagement in the training industry, especially in the healthcare sector. So it's in 2009, I decided to actually start my own uh, training organization. So when I started, I only started with HK and then slowly um, you know, started adding uh, qualifications on, on, on our scope. And since 2009, January actually, it's, be, it's, been an, it's been an incredible journey. And now we are looking at special, specializing in healthcare, especially nursing and pathology, and making it our flagship program. Now the journey for TREAD actually started a few years ago, and uh, now where I am, it's 
it's of course we are growing from here but it has not been that simple obviously and the some of the challenges that i faced in the very beginning was just making the right contacts in the industry because running a training college is one thing but you know just um complying with all the requirements and the guidelines yes i mean i had to actually figure it out all by myself and uh, which i did and i'm still doing that but one of the thing that i would see that as as a training as as running a training college by myself is is improving the engagement with the organization such as you know the department of education asco that is the regulatory body and also the industry engagement now i'm currently working very hard to improve that industry engagement now what do i mean by industry engagement is the hospitals and where the healthcare is required so the engagement from the industry is very very important and and from the very beginning that's one of the challenges i have faced and uh, i'm i'm still working on it it's a work in progress but at the same time um like as we know that healthcare is a national shortage it's just not in sydney um i would like to move that into some of the regional areas as well not just in new south wales but all across australia like next year we are looking at moving into some of the regions of victoria and queensland um and also south australia but to move there of course we need a little bit more of industry to come forward and engage with us and maybe give their input uh, on what is what is what are the requirements like in sydney being in macquarie park it's sometimes it's easy for me to you know go and meet the um industry representatives here but it is not always very simple to reach out in the regional areas and and improve those engagements um so this is what i would like to be working in the future and and try to overcome some of the challenges and um and also the training industry to be uh, you know cooperating with each other i know the vocational training industry has been in the news since for the last couple of years for all the wrong reasons uh, but but there but there are a lot of players who are actually trying to do the right thing and work hard and provide quality training so all those training providers in my opinion like we need to kind of improve our engagement a little bit more and that's one of the biggest struggle of this industry that the engagement is not there and um this is what um i would like to you know see changes in the future uh but but because the opportunities are huge in this industry like I, i'm sure if you if you speak to anybody in the healthcare industry whether it is hospital or whether it is nursing agencies or um even pathology or anywhere in the medical industry um everybody would say the same thing that there is a skill shortage it's hard to find um you know uh, employees with you know proper skills and properly trained so definitely the demand is there the shortage is there so we just need to streamline the whole process of you know of, of the people who want to build a career in healthcare and the employers and the training providers so there has to be um a bridge that should you know a kind of bridge the gap pretty much and uh, and improve the engagement and and i think that is where a lot of organizations such as you know austrade who can improve our international presence as as a, uh, because we are looking at improving our international presence so austrade and uh, organizations like asco who regulates those courses for the training provider and some of the um you know the industry uh, the big industry players can actually come forward and improve that engagement mm-hmm.